What's up everyone? Today is day 78 of my 90 day strict keto journey or is it day 79? I can't tell, it's one of those two. What's up everyone? Today is Tuesday, May 19th, 2020. My name is Alma Laban. You're watching the Fast and the Keto-ish and this is day 79 of my 90 day strict keto journey. If you're watching this right now, I just wanna say thank you for joining me on this journey. I've had some ups, I've had some downs. Weight has gone up, weight has gone down. When I hit that 90 day mark, I will have my, my progress report. So stay tuned, I got 11 more days on this 90 day strict keto journey. And again, thanks for joining me today. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. So today's topic is going over my why, my purpose, what was the reason for me starting this 90 day strict keto journey. Now I know this might sound vain, but this year we had an opportunity to go to Hawaii for our family vacation and we were looking forward to it. Obviously it's Hawaii, we've never been there. We'd want it to be in the best shape going into Hawaii um, and get some of that sun, get tanning. With COVID-19 happening, um, we did have to cancel it. Our trip is gonna be at the end of August. My daughter graduated from college. She's on to university now and um, she turned 20. So it's also gonna be a great gift for her. It was also going to be an anniversary gift for us. Uh, so it was a pretty big deal and we were really excited to go um, and spend time together as a family. Their cousins were going to come. My daughter's aunts and uncles were going to be there. It was just going to be a great time and we were really looking forward to it. Now I could have easily gave up on this 90 day strict keto journey. However, I wanted to prove it to myself um, that it's something that I can do and I just wanted to stick to it. Now, I'm happy that I decided to stick to this 90 day straight keto journey. I did have to make some modifications along the way. It wasn't perfect. But when you set a goal and you decide to stick to it, your mentality becomes stronger. Your mental side changes. For me, reaching this goal is more than just losing weight. It was more about self-improvement, self-development. How can I get better? Weight loss on keto is just one of the benefits um, that you're gonna receive, but there's so much more that I received uh, while doing this 90 day straight keto. My workouts have gotten better. I've been more active. I've been spending way more time with my kids. I uh, just work it out with my wife. Uh, it's been great. Um, so there's more benefits to this keto diet than just losing weight. I've noticed that my memory uh, has gotten a lot better. It's easy for me to focus at work. That brain fog is gone. You know, that brain fog that everyone talks about, I totally get it now. It's easier for me to focus. I know I'm getting off topic, so if you're still watching this, thanks for watching. I was listening to a podcast one day and it was talking about opportunity in crisis. Whenever there is a crisis going on, there's also opportunity. There's an opportunity for you to shine during a crisis. Now you can either let that crisis stress you out and hold you back because of fear, or you can look at it as an opportunity an opportunity for you to get better, an opportunity for you to strengthen others. You gotta make yourself better. You can't help others if you can't help yourself. Focus on yourself, focus on your goals. This is a great time to learn new things, skill up. Because look at this pandemic, regardless of your, your social status, your, you know, how smart you are, how fit you are, like how healthy you are, everyone in this world was affected by this coronavirus. Look for opportunities in yourself to get better. How can you get better? And then how can you help others? You know, because when this is all over, you want to be right back in it. You don't want to be behind. You don't want to take a step back. You either want to be where you went in or be ahead of the game. This isn't a race or a competition between you and anyone. This is a competition between you and yourself. But you want to be able to say, you know what? I survived the coronavirus. I survived social distancing. I survived homeschooling my kids. You know, like you want to say that to yourself once this is all over. You know, I want you want to say that I survived the quarantine 15. You know, the 15 pounds of, that you gained over the quarantine, social distancing, staying home, you know, you still have time. You still have an opportunity to get better, be stronger, eat healthier, get more active, be that role model for someone else who may need it. Now, I know this video is all over the place today, but those are my daily minutes for Tuesday, May 19th. Again, my name is Alma LeBain. I want to thank you so much if you watched this far. Again, we always have that choice to choose to eat healthy, 
get active and stay happy. And those are my minutes from the fast and the keto-ish. And thanks for watching. Peace.